what's up YouTube my name is Rob and I'm back for another reaction video now this time around I'm checking out a new um, rapper one I haven't met yet um, his name is Fox and I'm going back to SBTV to deliver me this video um, it's called the sobering truth and it says hashtag mental health now I don't necessarily well I take that to mean he's going to be talking about mental health in this video and this is a really intense topic um, to talk about mental health the last big thing that come um, to be brought up, up about mental health um, recently in recent times was um, the TV show 13 reasons why that was a big thing that really brought back up the whole mental health um, conversation um, I don't know if this was um, meant to try to in a, in a I guess in a better sense though in a better sense try to bring up the topic but um, maybe go into it and actually explain the struggle that people actually suffer with it but um whatever it is it's going to be probably something deep I'm just expect, I'm expecting that I'm just going into it um, and just knowing that um, maybe this has something to do with the rapper in a really intense way maybe this affects him personally maybe it affects someone he really cares about so either way this is going to be something really um, deep to unpack and I'm going to try to make sure I measure my words with this one just because I don't want to offend people and just be arrogant in how I just um, focus on delivery about it and also um, I know this is really an issue that touches a lot of people so I just want to handle it with a, get a little bit more dignity and more respect than um, I would with most of my other videos but before I even get into it, I gotta give a shout out to my um, YouTube subs uh, subscribers or my um, people that actually requested this, that I hope are my subscribers. If you're not, please come on, support your brother, please. It really, really helps me out. Um, first one that I'm gonna give a shout out to is the one that actually put the link for this video. And that's a YouTuber by the name of Praying for Some Good Rappers. Aren't we all, brother? Praying for some good rappers. And he puts it down, um, react to Sobering Truth, a hashtag mental health, and he put the link for it. That's why I'm giving him the first shout out. But um, a guy, uh, someone else that actually requested it before him, actually a month ago, um, James93, can you react to Fox Sobering Truth? I'm going to mention you too. Thank you so much. And he put that, that um, comment to um, a video that actually wasn't too, too popular for me. It was um, Nightwing vs. Deathstroke. So he um, checked that out. That video. Thank you so much for checking out that video. Thank you both for checking out my channel. And please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the love and support. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this, and I'm going to try to um, try to take it in as best I can. And if I um, miss an understanding here or there, please just be patient with me. I'm going to just try to give you the best um, and strongest view based off of what I can tell. And hopefully after that, we can just really get into it and handle this topic with respect and um, the dignity it deserves. So, alright, let's get into this. Okay, going to suck her off in three, two... One. Yo, SBTV, Fox, Birmingham stand up. Shout Jamal on the cam. Even darker. Alright. Alright. This is different. He's doing it live. Yo. Check me out. Look. Yo. We used to move aggressive, don't you know that I was section? My mum died, emergency services must have broke her. My dad and brother had to pin me on my sofa. They decided I need further help, my mind is far from kosher. I grabbed a taser off the feds and tried to shoot them up. I thought my brother was a devil like he Lucifer. I lost my mind and went crazy, didn't know who to trust. Diagnosed me, then ejected me like a computer does. I got cuffed and carted off, but not arrested. Like how'd you break it to your mates when you've been sectioned? Too many days they had me up in there with nutcases Wanted me on meds to calm me down till I was frustrated Can't have me sitting in chairs like I'm vegetating Found myself alone in rooms I was meditating Brought myself back to life I was excavated Started off with weed paranoia then it escalated Pain in my brain I tried to force it out my tongue It's feeling like the matrix can they tell me I'm the one But I don't feel these other rappers like I'm supposed to I just go harder in my zone and find my flow truth. Started at the back, I win the race because I weren't built to lose. Mm -hmm. Feel the you, he tells the truth like, come on man, what's up with you? Tell you about my life events I wish you'd witnessed. Begging me to rap, say I'm the hardest in my district. In an ambulance, feds either side of me. 
Mother sitting there crying tears at the sight of me. They had to fight to hold me down because I lost the plan. They tell me don't stop because you go far now. I got proper fans. Been on the street since I left comprehensive. Went college but I dropped it like it's hot to get the pence in. My mother told me that she ill, she don't like working either. So I just go a lot harder so she can retire. All them nights I've had to ride inside. In a single cell, you man ain't had a life like mine. I just throw these raps together, but I've been hard from time. Most of these other rappers shit, but they just got cold sign. So they should rate me like GRM daily. Flows smooth like a half pint of Baileys. I do this rap and probably one day they gon' pay me. Until then I'll be licking all my cats like it's the 80s. So if this industry gon' sign me, hurry up. I get nicked with parcels, then it's back to jail and it's just fucked. Kiss goodbye to freedom, I'll be back to banging up. Cause jail's like a sauna when you can't wait to get up Locked in a box like a cretin They gave me ten years before I told them guilty, hope you get it Early guilty plea, that still got me a seven They ain't handing out tag for early release, you can forget it I heard my what father's fighting cancer made my brain worse That's why I popped these mad pills to contain all the hurt But real talk, the last time we spoke we was arguing Ain't spoke to that man since but feel to talk to him I just vocalise the things that are scary to mention Tell you all about the things man are failing to mention I fear that if he pops his clogs I miss the times lost I'm holding grudges we ain't spoke for like nine months But listen every time I'm rapping I only get half of the story out about what happened And now I'm feeling like I never reach my own potentials They don't believe the words I wrote in all my raps that you could check credentials I just talk a lot of pain that's what they're feeling Noodles out of packet staring at my ceiling being fresh home felt excited like I was dreaming And I guess the crazy thoughts inside my head were just the demons I raped my mother to the moon and back of course bro She travelled up and down to prisons and them courts so I'ma do this legal thing for her I went self-employed a year back but I'm still around the curb Yo my dons are riding bids like an auction house See the depression in my face or when I'm walking about And if you're feeling real rap this what you're talking about And ain't feeling me oh Head for the exit what's to talk about Come man are telling lies like it's factual And all these bitches say they love you like it's actual Okay you're talking hard but really could you back your talk You're trying hard to fit in me don't give a fuck at all They tell me shake the depression you're doing so well I just look at them like oh well Cause I got pain stuck in my torso like it's chest hair We get it popping like balloons man don't get scared Went from trap blocks with fat rocks to self employed card that's hot would these brothers ride for me like Ascot? Okay, so now I'm rapping, let me interlude. A thousand other people rapping, but I tell the truth. And it's all from my thoughts if I mention curbs, box me off, still a coughing, dodge like a pensioner. Start to understand my life has been domestic. Tried to paint this picture for you, dog, but it's just hectic. If the devil shines light into my eyes, I'm epileptic, still I put this pain. Down on a page like I'm dyslexic SB won a warm up session I wrote a madness Dramas in my life would make your belly do a backflip Talk but not the same in real life We call them catfish Dropped the first vid they said I'm real Cause I don't chat shit And now this probably be the realest shit I wrote And now they put my words inside commas like a quote Bow That I'm sure Okay that I'm sure had have taken a lot of him really had to have taken a lot for him to come up and tell his full truth that's not an easy thing for a lot of people especially when you're in the spotlight to really try and get that out now um that was um and I called it coming in that was a very serious um topic that he explored and and actually I was and I said this before I wasn't quite sure if he was going to talk about somebody he cared about or if really focusing more on himself um this was on himself but of course the people he cared about would come hand in hand with it as well now he went and he did it in a story sense where he talks about how in the beginning he was there with his family and things were just started to go off the rails but um eventually they sent him away and in their minds they would thought that he was trying he was getting the help that he was getting but in reality that wasn't the case and many times and too many times i should say um that's not really the case where we try to send people away to get help but they end up 
getting put in a worse situation where he said they were um he said he was locked up with other people that were way worse than him and yeah many times that is the case many times that is the case and moreover he he said the biggest thing that they was trying to do to him to help him out was just to medicate him and in the end that didn't really help him as much as it could have uh, just really just set him on the track to basically becoming quote unquote a criminal and you have to sit back and ask well in the end of all of this are we doing more harm than good and if we are doing more harm than good then why is that the case we need to seriously sit down take a hard look at what we're doing why people fall into the things that they fall into and why people, and then also look at why people fall into drugs and this was a big instigate he mentioned that too this was a big thing that pushed them onto that extreme and it's just really a lot to unpack really a lot to think about and really just a strong thing that touches a lot of people and I wanted to make sure that I went into this and I didn't like just like back jump back and be like oh oh that was a good line oh, I didn't really, really want to do that I wanted to try to keep that in and just take it in and just absorb it so you can let it sink in and just let it reverberate in your mind as to really what this guy is trying to say and why he's trying to bear his soul and bear his emotion out to the people that he's sharing this with um truth and this is what he was saying about himself i'm not he's saying that he wasn't like driven on trying to be like the biggest baddest diss rapper like a lot of other rappers i've been seeing he didn't seem like he was um trying to be like the most aggressive the most um clever most um um just fly or whatever he was just wanted to go out there tell his truth and i really have a deep respect for people who can do that and a respect for people who want to send a message and send a lesson when they do that and he really had something positive to talk about in that he wanted to enlighten people as to what's going on and basically to say uh wake up we ought to do more and at the end yeah, it falls back on us as to why we ought to do more. You hear that um, same type of message come from Akalo, and it's like we ought to do more. And um, he tries to get you cognizant and aware of what our place is with that, with that whole situation and why is it that we're not being more vocal on the scene when these are people that we supposedly care about or we try to say we care about. You know, so it's a deep topic. It's a very deep topic. And... Um, with a very um with very um limited opportunities to get into it because it's a taboo topic and that not a lot of people really want to talk about because it's that serious um we just saw a big thing in the news and i said 13 reasons why i mentioned that earlier because that was like the last big big thing that made people looking at um the whole top um, the whole field of mental health and i was thinking about mental health and taking that extreme look and talking about mental health but in the end I kind of see it like it was that was a controversy when that came out but in the end you'd much rather it be when the when the field of mental health is brought up you'd much rather it be brought up in this type of sense than in a controversy like that so we can't really try to push it off and say oh we're not going to talk about it or we don't feel that too comfortable about it because if we do that we'll never address the problems that are really going on and that is a big thing that he talked about and uh, Kyle talked about and other rappers that I've seen talked about and what I think about the topic on my level so yeah um I really appreciate um being sent this um video and again I have to give shout out to the people who requested this one again um, the YouTubers praying for some good rappers. Again, praying for some good rappers. Hashtag mental health. That's what he put down there. And also the other YouTuber, James93. Again, James93. Those are the two um, YouTubers that had requested it. Um, thank you for so much for sending this video my way and having me check this video out. Um, tell me in the comment section what you think about this song, what you think about um, mental health in general. If you have a profound thought that you want to share with me or share with people on this page. Um, I want this to be a type of video that opens dialogue and conversation. I don't want this to be the uh, flashy thing where it's like, oh, oh, yeah, that was cool, or he did that, or he did that, or he got this, this other dude, or this, this other dude. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you think about the topic, if you have something you want to share with me. And also, tell me um, 
some other videos that you believe will be in like a similar vein. It doesn't necessarily have to be focused on mental health. It could be also focused on somebody telling their truth and just bearing, putting themselves out there to tell their story. So if you have either one that you want to, want me to see and want me to explore in a future wave when I drop my next wave of videos, please let me know. Please put the link in that video when you send it to me because there are so many things that people want me to check out. And it doesn't, you know what? It doesn't even have to be a rap. If this is a, a profound um, video where it's like a motivational speaker or something like that, you want me to check it out and review it, please send that to me too. I'm all, I'm all ears for that. I'm all eyes and ears for that. Something different, you know, something different. Um, so yeah, with that being said, thank you so much YouTube for having me check this out. And please, as I, I didn't say much on the field, on the um, topic as I did, but I just felt I had to measure my words and just treat this topic with the respect it deserves. So thank you so much for um, being uh, understanding with that. If you felt I should have said more, please put that down in the comment section below. But this is a serious topic that I just don't want to trivialize. So that being said, thank you so much, YouTube. Bye and ciao for now. Thank you so much.